the teams that are already in, um, the Bucks in particular, Giannis, he is not playing on Sunday against the Pacers. What is his status going forward? And this is kind of, it feels as though something that's been lingering. Is there a worry that there is a possible uh, Kevin Durant, Toronto Raptors situation where it's been a strain for a long time and then, you know, there is that chance that it could turn into Achilles or is this a completely different type of thing? Boy, wasn't it worrisome the way he just went down? Oh, yeah. He was yeah. basically just walking. Right. And um, so before this injury happened, he was a late scratch from a game about a month before with an Achilles soreness um, on that same side. And also uh, like a week before, Doc Rivers said he he should have pulled him out of the game because he didn't think he was moving right. Um, Now, just think about this in football terms. AJ, if you were questionable or doubtful on Tuesday and the game was on Sunday, uh, you know, you would probably work during the week and you probably wouldn't make a decision maybe until Friday or Saturday. Or Sunday. The fact that, mm, yeah. or even That's Sunday. Important. The fact that he was already ruled out mm. on Tuesday, mm. that was really worrisome. And, and, and as you mentioned, this didn't just come out of nowhere. He had been dealing with this leg issue for some period of time. Only he knows for how long. Um, and when they did that, Achille, when, they, when they sat him down with the Achilles soreness, it was right before the yeah. game. Achilles he was like weird. warming up. Yeah, he was warming up and it started to bother him. So, you know, you you just start to wonder about that sort of stuff. And also, Dame Lillard isn't 100% right. He missed a practice earlier this week with an adductor injury. Oh, no. Now, he was really? supposed to come back Uh-oh. to practice today. And a couple of years ago, Dame had uh, a sports hernia surgery. So he's had issues with sort of those abdominal uh, muscles in the past. And look, like at the end of the season, a lot of players have sore muscles. It's not like this is a huge cause for alarm. But they now need Dame to be awesome, like especially just get their o- their offense going. Need him. these first few games if he's going to be out. And they're playing a team that went four and one on them in the regular season. Now, I'm going to tell you one of the classic mistakes that everybody makes, including those of us who cover the league every day, is to equate the regular season and the playoffs. Every year we get to the at this point in the year and we see the playoffs and we go oh yeah it's different but that said the Pacers had so much success against the Bucks this year including beating them in that big in-season tournament uh, semifinal right. in Vegas you're damn right that I think they'll come into the game oh, yeah. with with you know confidence yes. and you've got you know Giannis out for who knows how long and you've got Dane potentially limping like I got I got guys who I really trust telling me Pacers are winning this series. I say Ooh. let's wait and see. Um, but uh, the Bucks have so much skin in the game here with what they did with the coach, with what they did with the Lillard trade, uh, with where they're at, with how they've mortgaged all their draft picks going forward. Man, this is a this is a tough moment for the Bucks. Caitlin Clark's playing for the Pacers too. I heard. Yeah, yeah. Weekend. During I, yep. playoffs, she could. Yeah, it might be Dame time. She, but CC's he would get about buckets. CC, how it goes. She would get buckets in the NBA game, big time. I don't know. At the other end of the court, it might be difficult, but she would light some dudes up. Doc Rivers. Everybody seems to have an opinion about this guy and why he got the job, when he got the job. What do you think of his, how he has done so far, and what do you think his future looks like in Milwaukee? Yeah. So here's the thing: the Bucks' early schedule was really, really easy. Their schedule was very favorable, and so they were they were not playing really well, but um, they were winning. And so when you look at what happened to the team since Doc took over, the stats don't look good. But it's hard to, it's 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 hard to like figure that out because their second half schedule is so much tougher than their first half. They just had a really imbalanced schedule. That said, they haven't really improved, especially defensively. They've gone from 19th in the league in defense to 15th under doc but what doc would say to you is that okay i had no training camp no preseason and i've had uh, middleton lillard and Giannis together for eight games since i took over and all that is fair um i think the idea of him being able to revolutionize this team at midseason was kind of a ridiculous ask and um but the bucks have so much pressure in this offseason or in this uh, who's gonna win it all wendy tell him wendy who's gonna win it all I mean, if the Celtics don't win the East, it's shocking. Uh, well, the Pacers, we've already had shocked. two injuries. Injuries play a huge role. The Celtics don't win the East. It's shocking. And this is the thing about the Bucks: Even if they get everybody together and play great, 
I don't think they're beating a full power Boston team four out of seven. No way. And I don't think that's an insult. That's not an insult to Doc. That's not an insult to Giannis. That's a compliment to the Celtics. Damn. And beating Boston four out of seven, even for the I'm sorry, beating uh, Denver four out of seven, even for the Celtics is a tall, tall climb. Those are the two best teams. I'd be surprised if um, if those two teams aren't in the finals. But I would also say that one of the things about the NBA playoffs. You injuries never know. dictate so much. You injuries never injuries dictate so much. We'll you, see who's healthy. You literally never know. You never know, and and that's why we love it. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is why we love it. Yeah. We can't wait for the next four months of these NBA playoffs, uh, and then right into the United States beating the hell out of everybody yeah. in the Olympics. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh.